Did that drowner just go away? I don't know what's going on over there. Also, what is happening with these frogs here? <laughs> enough! Come on, enough! Enough! Come on, enough! Gramps, where are you going? Gramps! Don't run away. There's nothing here anymore. You, you coming? Okay, he's coming. Yay, Saf Obelisk, huh? And some fool's parsley. There's a whole bunch of barrels around here. Grab some of this fool's parsley. What exactly is fool's parsley? Ah, oh, it's Keybrith. That's cool. You know, as far as a brick maker goes, you uh, don't appear to be making bricks at all. That looks uh, a lot more like wood to me. I guess you could be getting wood so that you can make a fire, but I don't know. Or something. Enough. How about enough? That works for me. <laughs> He's got the little fear skulls over him right now. You know, I guess I could just uh, grab the stuff off of these guys with control. That uh, that seems like a better idea, all things considered, because there's not going to be anything special on these guys. Why can't I not get the remains from this guy, though? Okay, there we go. go grab this fool's parsley as we watch these little bouncing things. Enough. Oh, hello! Come on enough! Enough! Come on enough! Can I actually attack, please? I am about to die. Uh, I need to run. I need to run right now. Okay, I did not run far enough. Well, <laughs> we'll be right back. Well, I didn't mean for this to happen, but I, uh, I came up an alley trying to find the assassin, and instead I found a fletter here. Um... Yeah, I guess we'll see how this goes. Uh, yeah, it dropped me off at Ramsmeat's house, by the way. <laughs> really, really far back from where we were. Um, so, yeah, we'll, we'll see how this goes. Uh, we'll see if this guy ends up killing the hell out of me. I don't think he will, because he has no one around him. Oh, and there's the assassin suddenly. <laughs> Interesting. Tit that. Right. Okay, so uh yeah. We found a random flutter by accident and uh this guy, who was uh, actually who I was trying to come back here for. Yep. <laughs> so anyway, uh, I'll see you all in a little bit when we get back to uh, the other side of the dike. All right. So I have talked to Vasca again and uh, gotten everything done here. I think I have more more Orins than... Uh, than after I had gambled with her, but less than when I started gambling with her? I don't know how that happens. Somehow, somehow that happens. Want to ask? So that's that's a thing. Um, and I don't think I can sell... Yeah, I can't sell anything that's on me. Um, I did want these uh, couple of alcohol from her. So, okay. We're mainly back where we were. That was a little bit of a pain in the ass going through all that again. 
I forget how little this game actually does auto saving and uh, how much I should actually be doing auto saving myself. A rusty sword, I will pass. That sounds like something that I wouldn't want to have around currently. But uh, that, that was a very, very dangerous plant that we uh, came up against, and uh, I was not prepared whatsoever for it. <laughs> I was just like, oh, it's just gonna be uh, like the uh, Ekin Ops that we, uh, we fought before. No, no, it was, it was a much more angry version. Uh, and apparently we've found like some kind of weird Cthulhu squid statue in here. Interesting. Yes, uh, Vasca worships uh, Cthulhu squid monsters. Good for her. You know, whatever floats your boat or drowns it. Our children die frequently because we live in the swamp. Maybe you should do something about that. Our children die frequently because we live in the swamp. All right, I don't want the candy. I'll take the flint though. Flint is fine. See another drowner out there. Um, let's see. We went into that one. We went into Vasquez's place. I think. Which one did we go into? So there's two houses here and one house there. I think we went into this house. Not entirely sure. Or we went into the house on the end. One of the houses was one that we went into. Yeah, this is the one we went into. Okay. Because I didn't want that rusty sword. Gramps, out of the way. We'll get you over to that shrine, I promise. If I die along the way, that will be, uh... That will be a sucky thing, but it could happen. <laughs> As we've seen. Ooh, a book. Ithlane's or uh, Ithlane's prophecy. We've already read it, unfortunately. But we can probably sell it later. So that is something. All right, and there's one last house to check out, and then we'll be on our way. If I could actually get across this tiny bridge, it'd be great. <laughs> someday, someday I will come to uh, check out this this house, which has cheese. I don't really want your cheese. You can keep your cheese to yourself and cut it wherever you want. Ah, another book that we've already read. The Store of Laura Dorn and Kragen of Laud. Um, we can just add to our chicken. And I'll take the alcohol too, I guess. Ooh, a trunk. Red roses, I'll take that. Don't need mutton leg. I think we've got, yeah, pork instead. So much flint. Don't really need it. Don't want the blueberry. Don't want the Makaman meat either. I think I really need that in any fashion. It's fine. I'm sure if I need some, I can go buy it somewhere. I don't want that cheese either. It'll be there if I ever need it. Okay, maybe instead of uh, running around picking random flowers and getting myself killed by... Uh, Vicious plants. I should go straight to the uh, the Melatelli shrine. I'm again. Which looks like it's going up this road somewhere. Why is there a boy all the way out here? Dude, I think this village has been like destroyed. Why are you out here? Clay pits. This is where those lunatics work. Huh. They look normal to me. <laughs> Brickmakers pretend to be normal to strangers, yet they conceal their faith. Do you know those dimwits worship fish people? People believe in the strangest things. 
Yeah, but you'll worship slime-covered reptiles with bulging eyes. I, those Vodianoi can't even talk. You must communicate with them using objects. Care to elaborate? Humans communicate with fishoids by leaving objects on special altars. Each item has specific symbolic meaning and is read as an intention. The Vodianoi answer in the same manner. What kind of objects? Dunno and I don't care. You need to speak with one of the worshippers. But brickmakers don't divulge their knowledge to potential blasphemers. Interesting. So... I feel like we came over here earlier? Mutilated corpse over here. Monsters have torn a lot of flesh from this corpse. It's obvious the mortal wounds were inflicted by a sword, a sharp one at that. Yeah, I think this is supposed to be where Berenger supposedly went to. It's a body anoint altar over here. Ah yes, it is indeed the uh, the Cthulhu thing. I don't know what to uh, to really put on it, but it's there. This is boring. All right, little boy, why are you out here? The lords are coming. Shove off. Who is above the lords? What is this crap? <laughs> All right, Geralt. I will fall on my face into dust. The lords approach like rising waters. Hey. They ascend like kings to the throne. You want a thrashing? I call thee from the depths. Come! What the hell? For I tell thee, who is above the lords? <laughs> Alright, Geralt. Why are you... Why are you being so aggressive to this little child? <laughs> oh, nothing beats me. He almost sounds... Boring. He almost sounds like he's uh, uh, talking about the body in order or something. I will fall on my face into... Hey, they are you wanna... Cool what the... Alright, that's just the same thing. He doesn't say anything more. So, I do think we're on... Huh. So, I can see the stone golem on the map. Yeah, we're on the right path. Now the real question is, are we going to run into that uh, deadly flower beast again? If so, I'm going to have to uh, have to be more careful about it. Oh, I've got a Bludziger over here. It's definitely, uh, looks like it could get a little bit dangerous. Especially because I believe these guys uh, explode. Do I want to go attacking these guys? I mean... That's not really... Well, I guess if I don't go around this entire path, I can just cut straight through here and go straight to the shrine. I'm not sure if this path would take me to that, uh, that plant. Alright, you know what? Let's do it. Let's... Oh. Uh-oh. Three islands, they call this place. A plant called Celandine flourishes here. You know about herbs? Well, I'm no herbalist, but <laughs> I, I got some much friends. my youth. For example, two doses of Celandine combined with nasen salts produces a bomb that instills magic fear. Useful. Holds oh my god, there's so many behind me. <laughs> if you can get two doses of their blood, mix it with abomination lymph and echinop spores, you create a potion that druids call Maribor Forest. Know any other uses for herbs? Damnable old age. I may remember later. Oh my god. I love that they all came up behind me and were just waiting for Gramps to be done talking. They're like, this is an interesting story. <laughs> enough. Dude, enough. please do not run towards the monsters. <laughs> Gramps! Gramps! What are you doing? Alright. Oh, 
Uh-oh. The Bludziger is coming now, and uh, I am halfway down on my health. Let's do this. Uh-oh, watch out, watch out! And I got hit anyway. I tried. I think I need to move. This is getting dangerous. Uh, you know what? I'll just take, uh, I'll take some Swallow here. Seems like a valuable idea at this point. Oh my gosh, there's a lot of Bludzigers coming out of the, uh, woodwork here. Oh god! The flower! It's back! <laughs> I feel like I might be running to the wrong direction. Oh my gosh. This is getting ridiculous. Okay. The Bludziger does not seem to be coming after me over here, for whatever reason. Holy crap. <laughs> let's, uh, let's wait until we get some health back, huh? It's very dangerous. There's blood everywhere. All right, Gramps. This is this is a very very dangerous area. We need to uh, take our time and be careful here, or we're going to end up dead. Not to mention these two over here explode. I attract. Okay, enough. I attracted one. Trying to uh, kill him without uh, without getting exploded. There we go. Ha! Got you instead. Back it. There we go. Bludzigers are a bit of a pain in the ass. Because they can uh, can very easily end up uh, ruining your day when they explode. Oh, we got some Albers clear crystals from them. Okay, cool. Um, that plant is over here somewhere. Enough. There he is. Come on, enough. Cocodium? He's a special one. Interesting. All right. Um, let's see. Do I want to use Blizzard? That would increase my parrying and evading. Could be nice. I could probably use... Um, hmm. I could probably use Igni, but I'm not going to be able to use... Uh, Anything else on this guy? Yeah, I feel like Blizzard probably is is what I should be using at this point. 